This is CBC New Brunswick News. Fifty years ago today, the federal government passed a bill partially decriminalizing homosexuality. While it wasn't the complete victory many campaigners had hoped for, it was deemed a victory at the time. Fast forward 50 years and an LGBTQ heritage group is arguing the change may actually have made things worse. Here's Jordan Gill with that story. The passage of the bill was the end of a journey started when then-Justice Minister Pierre Trudeau announced he would decriminalize homosexuality in 1967. The view we take here is that uh, there's no place for the state in the bedrooms of the nation. The bill decriminalized consensual sexual activity in private between two adults over the age of 21. But Dusty Green, the president of the Queer Heritage Initiative of New Brunswick, says the bill didn't end the persecution of the gay community in Canada. I'm really careful to make that distinction between a partial decriminalization and a full decriminalization because saying that it was a full decriminalization sort of implies that things got better immediately and that's not the case. Actually, the initiative says discrimination got worse for some people. Meredith Batt with the initiative has found documents from before and after decriminalization showing New Brunswick men being arrested for having sex with other men. A 1950 arrest in a hotel room in Moncton. A 1973 arrest in St. Andre for performing oral sex. And a 1977 Grand Falls arrest of two men for gross indecency. I think it was uh, in institutional stigma, so they, 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 the police and other institutions saw an opportunity to crack down. There was a lot of fear too, a lot of misunderstanding. Organizers of the event said in the 50 years since decriminalization, things have gotten better. But it's been a long road to acceptance, and discrimination did not end with the passage of a bill half a century ago. Jordan Gill, CBC News, Fredericton.